What is good everybody? So sorry for no upload yesterday, you know, I was really busy. I know everybody is tearing up right now because I didn't upload yesterday. I know guys, cry me a river. But anyway, before we ingrain ourselves in the shit stain that is the Penguin Zero YouTube channel, if you had to choose one person to get advice from, would it be somebody like Sneeko or Andrew Tate or Fresh and Fit? You know, somebody who dedicates their whole career, or I guess even Hamza in that matter. Would you choose a YouTuber who dedicates their whole career to helping young men on their self-improvement or would you rather choose to take advice from somebody like penguin zero also known as moist critical somebody who is absolutely notorious for being the funniest man on youtube to ever exist now listen before i actually get into making fun of this guy i know that a ton of you guys watching this video are already like fans of moist critical not that that's actually going to do anything not that it's going to make me stop going harsh on him but don't just dislike the video and leave like a fucking loser okay be able to actually handle some sort of critical thinking and being able to express your freedom of speech because i think moist critical is an absolute fucking loser and he's probably one of the most boring people on youtube and he doesn't deserve 11 million subscribers at all so penguin zero is looked at like this philanthropist in the youtube landscape you know everybody thinks that he's just like this good guy like you know when there's a drama going on everybody looks up to penguin zero because oh he's the funny jesus smart guy with the a funny voice <laughs> however if the community has to be remade remade Keanu Reeves which I always took as a compliment because I love Keanu Reeves I'd suck a fart out of his butt I will genuinely shit my pants take off the shitted pants and then eat the shitted pants it's been almost three days since my last shower and today I'm gonna be smelling Ethan Klein's asshole. Nobody and nothing smells more asshole than I do. The only thing that might even come close is dogs when they're meeting a new dog and they start sniffing their anal glands. But other than that, I'm at the top of the food chain when it comes to analyzing asshole smells, so he came to the right place. I know I may look like an infantile caveman who voids his bowels whenever he hears thunder. Well, yeah, I mean, you kinda do. But it's just my appearance. I'm not actually technologically inept and isolated from the world wide web and internet culture. January 3rd is a date that had more importance to me than my own birthday, because that was the day Logan Paul said he was going to respond to CoffeeZilla's investigative series on his crypto zoo project and i think that's literally the only thing penguin zero or critical or charles white or whatever the fuck that's the only thing he would be good at i guess reporting on drama because all this man does is sit inside and unbox fucking pokemon cards okay you guys have no idea how much he has spent on cards in the past week and if you knew it's somewhere be it's somewhere between 50 and a hundred dollars. For me, one thing specifically, I don't ever plan on selling them. So it's like, yeah, it has that value. Basically, ten gifts up. Yeah, did you tell him about what we're doing on Friday and how much you spent on that? Yeah, the Team Rocket Box. Yeah, did you tell him how much you spent on that? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, what'd you tell them? I gave them a range of like a hundred to five hundred dollars. So it's somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> you know, I mean, he sits on Twitch and YouTube all fucking day. So, you know, if you guys need like updates on some useless, pointless internet drama, just want your soul to wither away to lose all your dignity watching his shitty fucking YouTube drama videos, then go ahead. Like, I don't know, when somebody got exposed for being a pedophile or like a Twitch streamer is getting fucked on stream by a gay horse, Penguin Zero is like literally the first person to make a video about it. Problem arises when Moist Critical starts getting into politics and I guess the manosphere kind of stuff. So Penguin Zero, I guess you could say, is very censorious toward like the manosphere red pill community. You know, ranging from all sorts of people like, I don't know, Fresh and Fit, Sneeko, etc. And I'm gonna be completely honest here, in this Fresh and Fit video, you don't even have to like Fresh and Fit, okay? I personally do like them, but you don't even have to be the fucking biggest Fresh and Fit fan ever to just look at this video and see how much of a fucking loser this guy actually is get this right this fucking degenerate right here all he does is just sits there and talks about how fresh and fit are virgin yeah that's my shorty want to come in town so basically we were smashing the same chick no you weren't the only thing you've been smashing is your meat into your hand you liar this story's already got more plot holes in it than kingdom hearts why would an nba player go up to a random guy at a pool party to ask for a party later He's clearly already connected, he found out about the pool party, so why would he go up to a complete stranger at a bar to ask for further advice on partying, and then going a step further to add him on Instagram? 
That just doesn't make any sense. Unless Fresh and Fit dropped to the floor and sucked his dick raw at the bar in front of everyone, why would this NBA player care to add him on Instagram? Like I always say, me and Myron, a lot of these girls share the same high-value men and they're running around in the same circles, right? You have the gall, the chutzpah, to sit here and insult not only the intelligence of your viewers, but insult God himself with the claim that you and the NBA player we're having sex with the same women. Do you honestly expect anyone in the world to believe that? And then to have the audacity to make the claim that women go for the same high value males? You are somehow putting yourself in the same ballpark as a fucking NBA player. No you didn't dude, that's unrealistic. You can't be friends with an NBA player and fuck bitches and go outside and not be a fucking loser like me and not play with Pokemon cards? What the fuck, dude? When it comes to analyzing asshole smells. Yeah, well, believe it or not, some people do actually go outside. Some people aren't terminally online fucking gamers like you. And some people do have friends, and some people do like to fuck around with bitches, and some people do get laid, unlike you. Now, it's not my business talking about his monogamous relationship and him having a girlfriend. I couldn't care less. But for all my young men out there, constantly striving to improve themselves, get better every single day, would you let this guy tell you that you are insecure and dumb for listening to somebody like Fresh and Fit? Also, Penguin Zero likes to talk about Andrew Tate or Fresh and Fit and all these Manosphere people as being misogynistic for some reason. Like, yeah, dude, okay, get 10 bitches in a room and talk to them. I would love to see that. I would love to see the Moist Critical podcast where this guy speaks to 10 OnlyFans models at once and asks them questions. Now, despite being super unfunny and making poop jokes all of the time, this guy's just fucking dumb, like, honestly. Keanu Reeves, which I always took as a compliment because I love Keanu Reeves. I'd suck a fart out of his butt. This guy celebrated the fact that Andrew Tate got arrested and he thought that they arrested him for a pizza box, which is like the most retarded shit ever. Anyway, he made this video, posted it out there, big smile on his face, super excited. I'm gonna get the last laugh. You don't dunk on me. I come in here and I, I fucking dunk on you. But then, a nude slam and jammer entered into the equation. The Romanian authorities. You see, in this video, he made a mistake. He included a pizza box from a Romanian pizza place, which let the authorities know that he was still in the country. Like, you can literally see the fucking background, okay? And you think that the Romanian authorities have no intel whatsoever on where Andrew Tate is? Of course they do, bro. To get into a fucking country in the European Union from the fucking Middle East, they're not just gonna let some random fucking hobo in, okay? They need to check. Okay, Andrew Tate, top G, come on, get in. So as you brainwashed leftists like to think, it wasn't some sort of fucking pizza box that got Andrew Tate arrested, okay? The Romanian authorities already knew that he was in Romania and he just manifested it by recording that Greta Thunberg video. Also, this guy who likes to call other men losers and virgins and literally folded and started crying on stream when Sneeko was making fun of him. With every uh, cuck cult member of Sneeko, I agree, he would beat me in a fight. This guy who called fresh and fit virgins when they probably, they, oh, let's be honest here, right? Like, in every metric, fresh and fit are more successful than this fucking loser. Iron probably has a body count in like triple digits, okay? Maybe even more than that, right? Why is this guy the type of guy to call somebody a virgin? Like, just look at him. You don't look like Jesus, okay? Well, if you do, you probably look like fucking homeless Jesus, okay? You literally, you look drunk and homeless in every video. Like, my guy, you look, you just look horrendous, Bro, and listen, I don't want to like make fun of somebody's appearance, but you just look fucking ugly, bro. Like, honestly, like, why are you criticizing other men for like how they look and that they're virgins or whatever? But insult God himself with the claim that you and the NBA player were having sex with the same women. Do you honestly expect anyone in the world to believe that? Like, bro, like, you think you're slick and all of that with, like, the long hair and shit? You think that you have, like, beautiful long hair and everyone's calling you Jesus and shit? Like, you look like a fucking gorilla, my guy, an orangutan, bro, like, the long hair and shit. You look like a genuine fucking ISIS member, bro, like, what the fuck is this? 
Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for this video. If you want, you can go ahead and watch some of his videos and his video on Andrew Tate because it's just an excruciating watch. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's just horrendous. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. W daily grind, okay? I know I didn't upload the days before, okay? I'm sorry, man. Like, I know it's terrible for you guys, but I'm back. Make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't do those things, then, um... Uh, what happens if you don't subscribe? Penguin Zero is gonna come from under your bed and rip you. Enjoy yourself at high velocity speeds until you come. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, peace out. Bad bitch, and she from China Town. Hop on the whip, get off fast, dodge your rounds. Smoke on my gas, and I'll be seven other pounds. Can be sipping a honey, another 40 going down. Like, strapped up, always got my chops thick. Please call me super, but I don't need a sidekick. Let's ask sidekick, yo, bitch, how do you suck on my dick? Got my finger on the street, you ain't even hit a click. Bad bitch, and she from China Town.